Hi everybody, it's Kara, AKA the Principal Painter. And today I have a video of firsts. I have a pen from Diamond Painting Pens by TJ. You know those are my new obsession pens that I absolutely love. I want another one. And Emily was nice enough to send me something else to try out from another company. So I'll be sharing that with you. And thank you, Barb Tope. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. She was de-stashing none other than Angel of Justice from Dakota Dayweiler, and I got it. It's still in the plastic, guys. It is brand new. I, I'm so excited to unbox it. Let's head into the painter's place, and I'll show you what I got. See you in there. We are back in the painter's place. Okay, the first thing I have to show you is none other than, this is my first hybrid pen. And I'll tell you what a hybrid pen is for those of you that may not know, most of you do. And then I've got another something that Emily sent me from another company. It's putty. So let's see what I got first. Oh, this is um, Diamond Painting Pens by TJ. Um, if you look up Diamond Painting Pens by TJ on Facebook, I will link that group below. Uh, they do daily pen turns, and what you do is you put your name, and they do a random draw for um, an opportunity to purchase the pens, and they are stunning. I mean, I look every day and fall more and more in love with these pens. Emily, I've gotten to know. She is absolutely lovely and uh, just super sweet. So check out their Facebook group. Um, I did get some stickers. So cute, a turtle and a little mandala. Love me some stickers. Here is the pen. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to tear the top even though I don't have to to get this baby out of here. A hybrid pen, hybrid means basically two different materials were blended together to make this pen. It is acrylic and wood. Look at this beauty. I think this may be my retreat pen. I, I, I just, I love it. Oh my gosh, the wood feels so good. It's not rough, it's smooth. These are very light pens. And look at the tips, guys. They put in metal placers for you. The, that, that is extremely nice. This is a five placer and a single placer. And again, it's a hybrid. I love the colors, the beautiful dark turquoise and the pop of orange. That is stunning. I just, I love it. Love it. Thank you so much, TJ and Emily. Again, get on their Facebook group and you can enter uh, for a chance to win these, uh, to purchase these uh, beautiful pens. They are very reasonably priced for how absolutely gorgeous and one of a kind they are. I just, I have fallen in love with these pens and I own several now. So thank you again. All right. Emily asked me if she could send me something to try. Well, I love trying new things, so I said, of course. Let me put my pen right there so I can admire it while I'm opening. All right, so I believe this is what she sent me. This, and I asked, I made sure that a business card was included for this person. Um, this is Country Craft Closet. The owner, I believe, is Karen. This is Karen, the owner. And this is her putty. Now, I got some goodies. Look at this cover minder. It's so cute. It's cats. Let me get this out so you can see it a little bit better. This bag is beautiful. It's got little roses on it. Look at these cats. It's I love celestial things, and they're kind of like yin, yin, yin and yang, yin and yang um, cats. One is a black cat. One is a white cat. Kind of matches that DAC uh, painting that just got released. But one is a sun. One is a moon. And they're just snuggling and hugging. I love that. Thank you so much. Okay, and so this is what Country Craft Closet sent me to try and to unbox for you. Now, I have not tried this. So what I will uh, make a promise to do is I will try it. Again, I've got this retreat coming up so I can try it at the retreat and uh, check it out. I believe this, look at this. This is an instrument, I believe, to get the putty in your pen. How, how very, very nice so you can pack it in. I needed one of these. That's And the beautiful glitter, oh my gosh. 
Okay, what did I get? Oops, okay, so here's the bag. I know I keep saying okay, sorry. Here's their business card, Country Craft Claws. It, uh, it is an, it, it's, it's an Etsy shop. I will link this shop below. Uh, again, Country Craft Closet, Closet, Karen is the owner. Okay, so here are the instructions. So here is the putty. I don't know if it smells or not. A uh, little bit, smells a little bit, it smells very nice, kind of citrusy but uh, it comes in this really pretty container that twists off. There's your putty. Now, Emily is saying that she has used this putty and it is excellent. So I will try this out uh, at, the, at the upcoming retreat and let you know. So it says, pull off a small piece and work it until it becomes very pliable. So you work it in between your fingers, just pull some out of the container. Place over diamond painting pen tip here. Then using the tool, okay, I got this correct. I normally don't get things correct the first time when, I, when it's new to me, but I did. Um, provided, or the head of a straight pin, push the tacky down into the pen tip. So this, these little tips on this tool are small enough to where you can really pack that putty in so it doesn't pull out of your pen, which is very nice. Then um, she says, uh, place the excess tacky back into the container, start diamond painting, and enjoy. Emily says this tacky lasts a this putty lasts a very very long time. She says she she tells me it's the best on the market. So I am going to definitely try this out. And when I get back from the uh, the retreat, I will report back to all of you to let you know how this putty works. If you are interested in getting some and trying it for yourself, it is Country Craft Closet. So thank you, Emily, for sending this to me, and thank you, Karen, the owner of Country Craft. Uh, closet for trusting me to try this and I will again let you know how that goes so oh I just love this pen okay let's get into all things craftably I'm gonna put this back here so I, I don't want it to fall or to get hurt because I'm gonna take it let's get into all things craftably you guys know I am in the middle of an event right now with Mindy of Mindy's Diamond Moment and Brandy of Mystery of Diamonds we are doing craftably Craftably Craze, I can, I'm getting tongue-tied tongue, tongue -tied today. Craftably Craze 23. Uh, love Craftably, it is a Texas-based company. Um, you're not going to get any better when it comes to diamond paintings. This diamond painting I'm about to show you is a unicorn for me. We all have our unicorns that we think we're never going to get. Craftably does not um, license with Dakota Dateweiler uh, anymore, but they did. And this was a kit that I wanted, wanted, wanted. I've seen it many times throughout social media and it's a Dakota. I had to have it. And Dakota's my girl, right? So um, Barb Taupe uh, was de-stashing it. She didn't even put it on a de-stash site. Sweet Debbie Rice, who is another sweet, sweet friend and dear, dear person in this community. She is a big cheerleader for a lot of us. She kind of put a bug in Barb's ear. She said, don't even put it on a D-stash site. Just call Kara. She'll get it from you because she wants it so badly. And Barb said, I'm not going to do it. It's still in the plastic. So Barb, thank you so much. And um, Debbie, thank you so much for thinking of me. And um, she D-stashed it and I got it. And you can see it's still in the plastic. But I also got a special box from Michael and Amy. Michael and Amy are the owners of Craftably. And I wanted to share with you that just their thoughtfulness. This is this is who these people are. Uh, Marlon and I have just enjoyed so much getting to know them, and um, they are friends. They're, they're dear friends of ours now, and um, we're very blessed by that. Uh, I am a Craftably affiliate. If you are a first-time purchaser through Craftably and you use Painter Twenty, the code Painter Twenty. The items need to be uh, not sale items, but your first purchase through Craftably, you can save 20% with Painter20, that code. All right, so this is from Timu, and I have purchased many times from Timu. I am gonna do a Timu video on my thoughts regarding Timu. I love their products. I really, really do. I've, I've, I've purchased from them many times, but look what Michael and Amy sent. They were so thoughtful. They know I love sunflowers. They sent me this crafting apron with sunflowers on it. I absolutely love it. And I do painting in my crafting, so I will definitely use this, although I don't want to get paint on this beautiful apron. But Michael and Amy, thank you so much. Not only that, there were more goodies in the box. Is this it? Yes. Okay. In this envelope, there were more goodies. Let me make sure. 
Oh, and I want to I want to show you this because Amy did this. Hey, Kara, I've been obsessed with Timu, as have I, um, and thought I'd send you a couple of things. So um, he said he, uh, Michael and Amy thought the apron might be good for crafting. Um, and, um, you know, again, these are both from Michael and Amy and I just, I love them to death, but look at this card. It says mental health matters, but Amy is very, very talented. She's very talented at paper quilling and she's obviously a beautiful card maker. She sent me this sun, uh, sunflower card. This is all hand done by Amy, which I will be keeping this card. Um, she said, been doing these and wanted to send you one. Much love, Amy. Um, again, very, just, they're, they're. They're just the best people on the planet. I just, I love Michael and Amy to death. And, um, you know, this is the type of thing that they do. And I feel very blessed. So I will be keeping this. I have a special keepsake box of special cards that I get. And that will go in there. In addition to the apron, I got this little tiny, or it's kind of all sunflower themed, except for one thing. These are little sunflower stickers. I won't go through them all, but they're little, if I want to decorate cards or do some things uh, with my DIY crafts, I've got these tiny little stickers, which I love. I love paper crafts. I'm not as good at it as Amy is, but, and then they sent me, I love these. Um, they do have sticker sets on uh, Timu. I've ordered several sets, but I have not uh, gotten these. Again, I'm not gonna show you a, a ton of them, but it's all sunflower themed. It says stand tall, bloom bright. Stand tall and keep your face to the sunshine. And then there's one that says sunflower. So there's a whole variety of sunflower stickers in here. I love these. I am so blessed. I, I just sit and think how blessed I am to be part of this community. I mean, everything that I'm unboxing today was due to the kindness of somebody else. And I, I don't take that for granted. I'm, I'm very, very lucky. They also sent, I love this and will definitely, I, I can always use a good X-Acto knife. This is an X-Acto knife set. There are a couple of X-Acto knives, a metal ruler in here, different blades for cutting different things. I will definitely be using this in my DIY crafting. Um, love this. Okay. And then they're pushing me. They're pushing me to expand my creativity. This is an embroidery set comes with everything you need to do embroidery. Um, let me open this real quick. Thank you guys for hanging in with me. I'm going to take this out. I haven't even looked at it. Okay, so here's your fabric. It is, okay, it is pre-printed fabric, which makes it very easy for people like me that are beginning embroiderers. And you have all the thread and the needles are obviously in the fabric. And this is what the piece is going to look like when I am finished. So um, it's a small enough piece where a beginner like me, uh, I'm a cross stitcher, I, I, I got cross stitching down, but embroidery I've not done. So this will push me uh, creatively, which I love. So those gifts were all very thoughtfully sent to me by Michael and Amy, and I'm so thankful. Thank you so much. Um, if you have not headed to Craftably yet, you need to go. They are an amazing company. Their products are top quality. I mean, they're just, they're just incredible. Okay. I have been waiting and waiting and waiting to unbox this. I am, it's huge. It is a huge diamond painting. So I will have to put this stuff to the side so I don't spill it or lose it. Thank you for being patient. Sorry. I just want to be able to spread this out as much as possible so you can see it because unless you get this off of a D stash site, you're not going to get it. It's, it's gone. Um, you know, there have been rumors, is DAC going to bring it back? I hope that they do because I know there are a lot of people that are interested in this particular piece, but, um, this is angel of justice presented by craftably still in the plastic. Now, while I'm getting it out of the plastic Barb, I know. Okay. I have, I have purchased from D stashers or D stash sites about three times. I'm going to caution everyone. Unfortunately, there are people out there that are not Barb Tote because I know Barb and she's like the sweetest person on the planet. Make sure if you're going to spend money on a D stash site because some of these paintings go for a lot of money. And even if they don't, um, whether you know you're spending 30 or $40, that's still a lot of money. 
make sure you're buying from someone that you trust. If you use PayPal, do not use friends and family. Use goods and services. Yes, there's a fee involved, but you can get your money back in case something goes wrong. It kind of insures that money. So um, don't use friends and family. Use goods and services. It's worth the little fee that you pay just to ensure that you're gonna get the product that you paid for. So also know that if you buy from a person and not a company like Diamond Art Club, it could void the warranty, meaning if something goes wrong, you can't um, contact DAC to get, you know, to get your money back. So it does void the warranty, and I would assume that it would void the warranty with, with any company. But this is one that I found Eden I thought Eden was going to be my only unicorn, and it was. And then I found out about this one. I used to laugh at Brandy. She had to have all the Randall Spanglers. Then I discovered Dakota Dateweiler, and I have to have all the Dakota Dateweilers. And this completes, completes my collection. I now, I now own every Dakota Dateweiler that has been put out as a diamond painting. So I'm very excited. Okay. Got the toolkit. These toolkits are wonderful from Craftably. They come in these great bags. They look like burlap. They are softer than burlap. Um, I will show you real quick. It does come with some sussies, a cover minder, that beautiful heart. Oh, I could use that for Pride Month. Ooh, that may go in my painting for this month. I got two rolls of washi tape, XOXO. Nice Valentine's vibe going on there. Um, you get two of their pots of uh, Craftably wax. Okay, to keep the wax from drying out. And then uh, in addition, you get your basic toolkit. I'm not gonna get all this out, but you get tweezers, a pen, some multi-placers, wax, a boat, and a squishy. Uh, everything you need in order to diamond paint. So um, very, very nice toolkits with some extras for you that uh, not a lot of companies provide. So Craftably does it upright. Your painting does come in a dust bag. Guys, stick with me because I do have this week's winner of Craftively Craze. Stick with me. I know you want to see this painting. I do too. I've not looked. You can see I've not looked because the tape is still on the painting. They do tape these paintings shut. This tape, um, I'm thinking it's is acid free. It doesn't, it does not hurt the canvas whatsoever. They just put it on to keep your canvas closed around your drills and everything else inside. Y'all, I am so excited. I've not seen this in person. I have not. These are poured glue canvases. Let me just, oh my gosh. There are two sets of drills. I love that Craftively not only put labels their drills, but they do have um, the stickers with the thumbnail of the image. So this is two bags. So uh, in case they get separated or you store your painting separately uh, from your drills, you can reunite them easily. This is a square diamond painting. Are you ready for the dimensions? The dimensions on this thing, they do it in inches. It's 30 by 38 inches. I think it's a 70 by, let me convert really quick. So 30 inches is 76 a 76 by 96 and a half. So 76 by 96. Oh goodness. Yes, it's going to be big. Here's their pamphlet. Um, this is an older kit. So uh, some of these contents have changed over time, um, you know, a little bit. Uh, this is uh, welcome to the Craftably family, how to diamond paint, all that. So some of these things uh, have changed over time, but oh, I want to roll this back. I've got to see it. I've got to see it. You guys want to see it? I know you do. I cannot believe I have this in my hands. This is a hard one to find. It was, you know, it's just like Eden. Um, I got that on a D stash and um, raining diamonds nicely D stashed Eden to me and um, she was a subscriber, again, a very trusted individual. I'm knocking stuff on the floor. This is really big. I'm rolling it back. It is poured glue, so you can roll it back. And zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. What did I knock on the floor? Oh, okay. I can get it with my foot. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to zhuzh, zhuzh, zhuzh. Yeah, this is a big one. Let me stick this in my lap to hang out for just a second while I show you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. 
I don't know if it's going to fit on the table, folks. All right. So this isn't that old because um, these sticker sheets are fairly new um, or newer. Uh, these are all stickers just because stickers, I sweat glitter, diamonds, um, you know, uh, and here is your logbook sticker. I love these. It's got the thumbnail of the image. Uh, how big it is, your start and finish date. All of these stickers are individually cut. You've got 65, or excuse me, can I count? 66 colors in this and four ABs. Oh my gosh, okay, enough of that. I wanna see this. I want to see it. Oh, oh my Lanta. Oh my Lanta, okay. I'm gonna to have to show this to you in sections because there's no way the cam is the camera getting like half of this, Marlon? It's, good, huh? it's getting it? Okay. I'm gonna keep my little paws out of it and just look at her. Oh! I'm speechless. I, I love Dakota Dateweiler's art. You guys know that, it's no surprise to you, but just the scales. Marlon is a Libra, so this is giving me a really Libra feel, but, um, you know, these are the scales of justice, and you've got greenery on one side with the water coming out, um, some other things going on on this other side. She's holding up the scales. Um, I'm already looking to see, you know, I'm, I'm thinking I can really bling this up. She's holding a sword. She's got this beautiful, uh, her beautiful angel wings in the background. This is stunning. It's going to take me a while. Um, what else? Can, I'm just staring at it. I can't believe I have it in my hands. Oh my gosh. Okay, sorry, had a little moment there. Um, it is a good mixture of color blocking and confetti, a little bit more confetti than color blocking, but I'm not just dying over the confetti at all, but you've got to in order to grasp and have and see this detail. The rendering is absolutely beautiful. There's no doubt what she's doing. She is um, holding a medallion, looks like, behind her head. Um, and a sword in the other, I'm sorry, the medallion is just behind her head. She's holding the chain to the scales. Um, and then she's holding the sword in her other hand. She's got the wisps of hair in front of her face. Oh, thank you so much, Barb, for thinking of me and calling me. I have wanted this one forever. And I'm so excited to have it in my collection. I just, I, I, I don't even know what to say. It's beautiful. Okay, thank you guys for letting me ush and gush. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I have it. Oh. All right, I'm like a little kid. Speaking of craftably, speaking of craftably craze, I won't be able to start this. I really want to. Like, oh, I could be a serial starter so easily. I, I've, I've just trained myself not to be. This will be done though. Uh, you know, this may be done for the next Dakotathon. Um, you know, ooh, it's beautiful. Speaking of craftably, week two progress was last week, and I saw some beautiful progress and some finishes on your craftably pieces. Brandy has week three's progress up uh, this week, so um, she will draw the winner. My prize for our weekly prize, our week two weekly prize, is a $25 Craftably gift card that I will email to you. Uh, we had 119 entries before I turned the comments off. Somehow the comments got turned back on, but I counted, before I turned them off, I counted right up until the deadline. Um, I had 119 comments. Marlon picked uh, the winning number, and so I counted down. He picked 72, right, Marlon? 72. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, number 72, the winner of the $25 weekly Craftably prize for Craftably Craze 23 is Rochelle Diane Hollings. Congratulations, Rochelle. What you need to do, Rochelle, is you need to email me, theprincipalpainter at gmail.com. I will make sure to, to add that into the description underneath this video. Please email me and I will get you your gift card from Craftably. So congratulations, congratulations. Why am I so tongue-tied today? I don't know. 
Rochelle, congratulations. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please, uh, as you're leaving, give me a thumbs up before you X out of it. It helps the channel. And if you're new, welcome. I'm Kara. I hope you enjoyed it and I've got more coming for you. So um, there's a black subscribe button if you wouldn't mind hitting that. That way you can see more videos as I put them up. And um, I'd love to have you join the painter household. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you. Thank you so much, Diamond Painting Pens by TJ. Thank you so much. Where did I put it? Country Craft Closet. And thank you so much, uh, Craftably and Barb uh, Taupe for de-stashing and thinking of me. Um, I love all of the items that I got today. So, um, and I'll let you guys know how that putty works. And I'll leave you with this. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. This is the Principal Painter, and I am signing off.